people only listen to the gardener. Who wouldn't? It's his garden. Don't disrespect him in his own garden. After all, he's giving you a chance to grow. I'm in bondage with the coils that represent me, causing the curse of rebirth to collapse, disabling me from stepping into the sunlight I was blessed with instead of the spotlight you made for me. So I walk one unwanted foot in front of the other to the place I'm given. The glass cage. That's where I am. Harsh enough for it to feel like punishment, but transparent enough to make me feel like I've put myself in it. The others are free. Only restricted to the greenhouse made in their image, suited to the environment, but still somehow the most high maintenance. I'm left to fend for myself. I feel as though I'm below the surface. In the darkest comfort, in the most humble of vicinities, accepted. Subconsciously holding on to whatever piece of earth accepts me because roots don't belong when they are not moving. Be an anchor, be a blueprint. Without roots, we'd all fall, but they'd prefer the non-functional over the necessary. So I stick to what I know and what I've been fed and understand that roots don't belong on the surface. People only listen to the gardener. Who wouldn't? his garden, don't disrespect him in his own garden, after all he's giving me a chance to grow and I'm getting a chance to be in the garden, and that's where I'm bound to, and in the end I'm scared because I know it's his words against mine, are my thorns to hurt you or to protect myself, are my petals my joy or my pride taken out of context, his words are much bigger than him, I am my words, because I'm in his garden.